You've all seen me setting up my CNC machine. But before I can start making chips, I need to cut the metal into manageable pieces that will fit in the mill. So I bought something called a 4x6 bandsaw. A few companies sell this model with their name on it, depends on what country you're in. But they're mostly the same. It's pretty inexpensive for what it is, about $200. So I'm a bit worried if it will be any good. Only way to find out is unbox it and take a look. Okay, so yesterday I got a saw all put together. As a few people warned me, it is very top heavy. I just don't feel it is safe for me to use like this, so I'm going to bow it down. And I'm just going to put the tea nuts in from the other side. And that's stable, I can trust that. Let's fire it up, let's cut some metal. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel.
Actually, I have, I have a better blade, but I was using the blade that comes with the machine. It was doing fine. I don't see a reason to change it and it's cheap. I think I'm going to keep using it. Why waste it? This Daji end stock comes with the band saw and it is not very good so I'm going to upgrade it with the smooth rod I just cut. I use this huge filament wheels for my 3D print mill, but they're very hard to handle, so I'm going to make something better to hold them. Voila, like butter. Not a big deal, but it works a lot better and it's about a dollar on Taobao. Okay, that's the vertical bandsaw. It's a little bit awkward, but I think I'm going to get used to it. And it's certainly a clean cut. Okay, the saw is well built for light work. I just say it would hold up for a long time if I use it a few times a week. I would not put this to work all day, every day, cutting heavy stock. 
if you are cutting long stock in the horizontal position without support, it could cause the saw to tip over. If you push hard in the vertical position, it could also cause the saw to tip over. The saw is just much, much safer and more useful bolted down. I didn't even put the wheels on. You're going to need to do a little bit of Googling for the right biometal saw blade to seal your needs. But the cheap one I got are okay for now. There are a few forms dedicated to modifying this. Just search 4x6 band saw mods. I like my little end stop extension, but there are lots of options. Overall, thumbs up for makerspace, garage workshop, or small commercial shop. That's it for today. Please subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified of new videos. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.